What is up guys, Marshall here and welcome to my first ever Team of the Season Inform Analysis. Today we are reviewing Carlos Villa, who basically sets the benchmark for all these Team of the Season players. He is superb. I'll give him a 5 out of 5 star rating because he is that good. Now he's priced at the minute, still hovering around 110 k out on the Xbox 360 and 130 on the PS3. He's only got a 2 star weak foot, which is a drawback. But he does have those four star school moves, so it doesn't really matter. He's playing out on the right cut in, anyways. His card stats are pretty special. I mean, you look at the pace, you look at the dribbling, you look at the shooting, they're all top notch. Even the passing there, it is brilliant, but defending and headings are no no, but it doesn't really matter. You're not going to get really that much chance of getting ahead on it with Carlos Fella because he's out on the wing. Or if you do change his formation, he could be a right forward, but again, he's still a bit wide. Now, on to the squad building side of things. we go Mexican up front in Hernandez and Godardo. So we have Godardo on the left-hand side. Hernandez in at striker. And the rest of the team, just below Vela and Godardo, will be Spaniards from La Liga. Just to fit in and make it a 99 chemistry. So we've got, on the left-hand side, and Herrera. Had him in my road to perfection. He was very, very good in at CM. Alongside him we have Granero from the Premier League. He links up with Hernandez and the two Spaniards both alongside him. And just on the right hand side we've got DeMarcos. He is a pace demon. Great midfielder. He is superb honestly. If you haven't had him on this game where have you been? We've got Aspilicueta in a right back of course. Lincoln up with the guy just above him. In at centre back we move away from the Spaniards. We go to Manchester United who <laughs> it's a bit of a transition week, isn't it, for them? With Fergie announcing his retirement, Moyes announcing that he's coming in, he's been confirmed now. Rooney wanting to leave, it's just chaos there at the minute. So we've got Phil Jones and we've got Evans with Naxto and Monreal at left back. In net, then we go to Everton, which is incidentally where Man United's new manager is coming from. And we have Tim Howard actually did the squad before it was properly announced that David Moyes was going there. So. Maybe I predict squads, but it was coming a long time off. Anyways, back to Vela and just look at some of those stats. Look at the dribble and look at the finishing. Both superb. The rest of his stats are pretty top notch. I mean, his volleys is the only high green in there. He's got a high attacking work rate with a low defensive, which means he's going to be forward a lot more than not. There's his key stats in the physical attributes. Sprint speed, acceleration, his agility, which just lets him bridge non-stop. Now into my first game with Villa. Now I had a few games with him, much more than the usual. I'll actually come up here in a random search against Kazui, who is another YouTuber. He's got great montages. That do he does Super Sundays. He's just a great scorer. So this was always going to be a tough game, but Villa there, great ball through, and it's just knocked across for an easy volley past his goalkeeper. That led me on to win one 0 Very tough game. So it was very hard to get anything with Villa. And then this happens in the second game. Just. Jesus Christ, what a hit. With that left foot cutting inside, that's how lethal he is. He's like Steven Gerrard mixed with the Hulk, mixed with someone else when he's cutting in there from the left-hand side. I mean, I think the keeper's dive here makes it look a bit better than it actually was because it was directly straight forward into that far corner. It looks like it swerves in the air, but you know that doesn't work in this game. It is actually coming in in FIFA 14, so I look forward to that from the free kicks. He gives us a goal there. Villa just takes it. This time the keeper actually saves that effort. Great power behind that and I do get the tap in. This leads me to a very easy victory in the second game. Now like I was saying I did have a lot of games with Carlos Villa because I just thought to get the best out of him I need to play more. Here he starts from deep. Great run. He just goes in the box. Why isn't he get closing us down? I'll never know. And it's just a simple finish again on that left foot. I like players that play wide. I've done Shirley before. He was on the left. He can cut in on the right foot. It's just 10 times better. This is great footwork. And a great finish in the end from Carlos Villa, who in my eyes is well worth that money, believe me. I know this is the first team of the season. I do believe there's going to be more in batches, I think every Wednesday from now. So yes, definitely from this first batch, Carlos Villa definitely sets the benchmark for any future team of the season players because he is that good. He's speed, he's finishing, he's team play. His long shots, as you've seen, that screamer from earlier on, his ball control is top-notch. The only bad points, and it's really hard to pick him, is possibly his height and his strength. And he actually rounds this episode off with a nice little tricky goal there from the Mexican. That is it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like if you did, sub if you haven't. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.